Is God really sovereign over Russia and Ukraine at this very moment? Can we trust God with the outcome of the war, the duration of the war, or our future? Think of the impact which governments and nations have in our lives in general. Many governments persecute and kill Christians. The government makes many policies and laws that affect our day-to-day -day living. Well, in this video, we will be examining the Bible's teaching on God's rule over the nations and how that should put a strong foundation under your feet to trust Him, even in the current situation of Russia and Ukraine. It's coming up. Welcome to Books of the Wise, where we talk about theology, good books, and the Bible. Well, this is our fourth video in our series on this excellent book, Trusting God by Jerry Bridges. This is a great book for if you're struggling to trust with God, or if you know somebody else who might be struggling to buy for them. So remember, there's a discount with the promo code in the description box if you'd like to buy this book for yourself. Well, the Bible shows that God determines four things regarding government and rulers which will help you to trust God fully. Number one, God determines who rules. Daniel 4 verse 7, the sentence is by the decree of the watchers, the decision by the word of the holy ones, to the end that the living may know that the Most High rules the kingdom of men and gives it to whom he will and sets over it the lowliest of men. Romans 13 verse 1 to 2, Let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God. And those that exist have been instituted by God. You can be sure of this. No one can ascend to power unless God permits. Putin and any other ruler is only in power by divine permission. Number two, God determines the time of rule. Isaiah 40 verse 23, God brings princes to nothing and makes the rulers of the earth as emptiness. Scarcely are they planted, scarcely sown, scarcely has their stem taken root in the earth when he blows on them and they wither and the tempest carries them off like stubble. At any time, God can bring an end to one ruler and raise up another as he pleases. No ruler, not even Putin, can rule one second longer than God allows. Number three, God determines the decisions of rulers. Psalm 33 verse 10 to 11, the Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He frustrates the plans of the peoples. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart to all generations. Proverbs 21 verse 1, the king's heart is a stream of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he will. No decision is made without God's will. This includes both wise and foolish decisions. 1 Kings 12, 15. So the king did not listen to the people, for it was a turn of affairs brought about by the Lord that he might fulfill his word. Now, someone might object and say, but is this not just a specific instance of God intervening? How can we know that this is what God does generally? Well, Bridges in the book anticipated that objection and wrote on page 70, God recorded in his word specific instances of his sovereign rule over history in order that we might trust him in the affairs of history as they unfold before us today. We should remember that for those experiencing the events recorded in the biblical narratives, God's hand was no more apparent to them in those events than his hand is apparent to us today in ours. And lastly, God determines victory and defeat of nations. Proverbs 21 verse 31, the horse is made ready for the day of battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. This doesn't mean that military strength is useless or even unnecessary, but that the final outcome belongs to the Lord. We don't trust in military strength but in the Lord. Psalm 20 verse 6, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. We must still fight, but the victory belongs to God. In the war between Russia and Ukraine, God has the final say. Now, here's the point in all of this. God rules. He reigns over the nations. He can wield nations to judge or to bless as he chooses. Therefore, one thing is for certain, the nations, the government, or any other ruler doesn't have the final say in anything. God is sovereign, even over Russia and Ukraine. Don't fear rulers or nations or military strength or even World War III. Fear God, who can both kill the body and cast the soul into hell. Matthew 10 verse 28. The same God who paid for all your sins on the cross is the same God who rules over every ruler. Trust in him because nothing can separate you from his love for you in Christ, not even the government. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you found value from this video, remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, God bless.